I know this is not how you wanted it to end. Offense couldn't quite get clicking today. You know, can you walk me through maybe what didn't go right and what you guys may be able to fix for the next, you know, for next season? Uh, I guess we got we got to be better in the red zone, right? Now. The three points isn't going to do it uh, early on. Uh, they were putting up touchdowns. We were putting up field goals. And what that did was it put their defense in a – opportunity to, to play a little bit deeper and, and make us uh, kind of work the ball downfield. And from that point, it was just a lot of mistakes. And uh, you can't win the ball game with uh, turnovers. You can't win the ball game with uh, penalties. And sure enough, we uh, we we didn't execute in either either one of those uh, areas. We'll go next to Danny Heifetz with the ringer. Hey, Travis, Pat seemed to, Patrick seemed to just start running backward for like long stretches in the second half. How many plays kind of just seemed to be dead from, right from the, the snap with the pass pressure? Um, can't really put a finger on it. I think it was uh, – once we uh, once we got down a good amount, I, I feel like their defensive line kind of thrives off of being able to just pin their ear, ears back and get after the quarterback. And uh, sure enough, um, they had us schemed up pretty well. We'll go next to Aaron Ladd from KSHB. Travis, ESPN has Patrick as running around for 497 yards before he could even get the throw off. How does that impact, you know, what you all are trying to do and your routes and all that? Well, first things first is I got to I got to be able to get open so that he's not flying around like that. Um, and then on top of that, just um, just being there for him when he does get out of the pocket. I feel like uh, he's uh, he's had a, a magic Mahomes type uh, t- kind of creativity when he does get out of the pocket. So, I mean, it's not like you're uh, you're mad at him for doing it or anything like that. It's just kind of how the game went. And, um, you know. It's not what we want to do as an offense, but uh, at the same time, you know, guys were out there just trying to make plays. We'll go next to Tom Akins from AP. Travis, talk a little bit about the defensive schemes that you guys had to cope with tonight. As you said, the Bucks seem to have things schemed up, but what was the most difficult thing that you guys tried to challenge to get free and get, get ready to, to move the ball? Um, I feel like uh, they uh, they made us kind of dink and dunk, uh, take what was there. They, they they put a cap on the defense, or they put a cap over over top, and didn't let us get behind the defense, uh, knowing how much speed we have. And sure enough, uh, what that made us do is uh, try and you know run the ball a little bit better. But their front seven is uh, is second to none in the league, and it's just you know. It was frustrating. It was one of those uh, one of those days where it just felt like you know you uh, anything you did they uh, they had an answer for. We'll take two more questions. The first one going to Matt Derrick of Chiefs Digest. Hey Travis, uh, Patrick just said that you know the the offense seemed off wasn't on the same page from the beginning, as far as he wasn't getting the ball out on time. Um, receivers not being where we expect them to be and, and obviously guys getting through the line. Is there anything you can really put your finger on? It's just as, you know, the, maybe why you guys didn't be, come out on the same page like you usually do? Um, no, there's nothing I can really put my finger on. It's just uh, we were a tick off. And uh, sure enough, putting up uh, only six points in the first quarter and or two field goals, Leaving uh leaving points on the board and on top of that just um you know drop balls there was a huge drop pass which then set up uh the punt that um that we got a penalty on and then it, we had a shank punt and then they just went up twenty one six and I mean at that point um a lot of momentum was on their side and it was just uh, you know tough sledding from there. And we'll take our last question from Jennifer Lee Chan of NBC Sports. Travis, were you surprised at how many penalties were called against your team versus last year where it seemed that like they just let you play? I'm not going to get into the penalties. We've got to play the game by the rules and, um, and just be better. No excuses.